okay, we're doing it. Let's do it. Come on, let's do it. Pretty sure this is the one, right? Hey guys, okay, today is my church yep, event the called one. the Chili Bowl. And what they do is they do flag football, seven on seven teams, and they do a chili cook-off. So I've entered for the first time. I'm gonna try and win the chili uh, competition. I don't know, how, there may be three people that show up. There may be a hundred people show up. I have no idea. All I know is that um, I've kind of altered some chilies and things I've liked in chilies I've done from the past, so I've got it right Thank here. Thank you, White Rider. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys what I'm making. This will air after the competition. I'm probably never entering the competition again, so I don't care if people know my recipe. But I don't want them to know the recipe before the event happens. Okay, so it's all awesome ingredients. We've got salt and pepper for taste, two cans of pinto beans. This is some of the magic. This is uh, chipotles in adobo sauce. This is where the heat for my chili is coming from right here. And that's it. I'm not putting any chili powder oh, yeah. in there. Oh, yeah, the insane, the insane heat from a chipotle. Anything. It's going to be the smoky goodness of this. And then if I need chili powder, I'll put it in. But as far as I know, this is the recipe. Final recipe will be down below. And then I got a can of corn, tomato paste, IPA beer, La, La Guintas. <laughs> this beer... This is an IPA. This is what I use on my sausage sliders, remember? And it foamed up, got all caramely tasting. This is an amazing beer to cook with, okay? Then you got diced tomatoes. You got three things of black beans, garlic, two jars of your salsa, whatever salsa you like. We're going to dice up an onion. I've got Italian, sweet Italian sausage. And then let's clear this off because this is what's going to win it for me, I think, is this beautiful... Smoked brisket. I cooked it for 12 hours. This is leftovers. You guys remember last year I did I had a smoked brisket and it was it was amazing. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this. I don't even know. Did I, did I, was I lying? It's, first of all, it's very clearly gone off. He says explicitly that this is a leftover smoked brisket. We do not know how old it is, but it's inc incredibly clear just by the texture of the meat that this is, is, is beginning to go bad, that it is, it is beginning to rot. But on top of that, look at the fucking exterior of this. It is burnt to a literal rock. It has completely carbonized. Not only is it putrid on the outside, but it's actually unironically rotting on the inside. And he's about to serve this to his entire fucking church. Is that, is that a work of art? Can you see that? Look at that outer. Look at, you can literally see it's actually become carbon. Crust. And there, he that. thinks this is beautiful. He thinks this is good. I'm not kidding you. He thinks that when you have burnt something to the, to the point that it is a literal rock, that that is a good thing. J Dog with the NOK59. Thank you very much, J Dog. That meat can only be, be identified by its dental records. Fucking true. Holy fucking shit, true. It's just, it's just gorgeous. So we're gonna, we're gonna cube this up, and reheat all this, and this cooked for 12 hours. This is the meat. We're not using ground beef. Yeah. Nobody uses ground beef anymore. If you want to win a contest. So we're going to dice up this brisket. Down below is the seasoning I used on this brisket. Why is it sparkling? It's sparkling because it has carbonized. When you cook meat so, when you overcook something for long enough, it becomes coals. And coal is shiny because carbon is shiny. It has literally been burnt down to its like base elements. If you ever, if you take uh, some time, just as an experience, experiment, take like a piece of bat, like a meat that you don't care about and just put it in a fire for a really long time. It will burn down into a, into fucking carbon. That's all that will remain is just uh, shiny black rocks. 
It's it's absurd. Getting then smoked it on my Traeger for 12 hours. Uh, so you know everything I use, but the key ingredient on this, I'm gonna tell you right now, I use ground Swedish coffee, and I think it was brown sugar and chili powder and uh, onion and garlic. So, but it's uh, the exact description is down below. All right, probably the hardest thing we're gonna do is just cook our sausage. That's all we gotta cook. Everything else is already made, so let's get that get that in the pan right now. It yeah, is not good baby. for you, by the way. Nothing like a sizzle. I love it. Killjoy says it's literally the carbon that is in the food becoming graphite as the structures combine into a more solid structure. So you might as well be eating pencil lead. Yup. Okay, this is when it gets interesting. This is when we put everything together. I love the meat. The meat's important. It looks horrible, dude. That's the key. So we'll put that much in for now. The meat looks terrible. That's the brisket. Same with the sausage. I can't put all the sausage I want in. Most of it I can. That's about it. All right, maybe a little more. There we go. That's about it. Gonna drop my Also, one thing that you will notice is that he never washes his hands in any video. In the last video, he literally said that he had dirt all over him from the dog. We, vi we audibly hear him wiping his hands through the dirt from the dog. And then he proceeds to take his hands and roll the taco with the hands that came from the dog's feet. Um, he's terrible about this. One of the things that Jack loves to do is put his hands in the food all the time. Um, there's a video where he's making food for guests and he openly exclaims that he is not going to be any of it, eating any of it because he's on a keto diet. It's just for his guests. And the entire time without washing his hands, he's cross contaminating, he's mushing his fingers in the food. Is he a Nurgle cultist? He may as well be a Nurgle cultist in there put my beans there we go here's the corn tomatoes the garlic pink canned garlic fucking pre-chopped pre-minced uh sorry pre-minced garlic canned beans canned tomatoes canned uh 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 black beans and canned corn. Everything is canned. And as you can see, as he's pouring it in, he didn't do a very good job straining it. So it's really not fair for him to even claim that this is his fucking chili because everything is already pre-made. Let's see if we can shake out the paste. Come on, come on. Too lazy to get a spoon. Come on, you can do it. Come on, come on. That's what I'm talking about right there. Amazing, also. dude. Oh, it's getting full. It's getting full. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to pour the beer in. Yes, it will cook off the alcohol. I'm going to be cooking a long time on this. There we go. Beautiful. Look at it reacting and bubbling. And then, the reason I'm going to take first place is because of this magic right here. Chipotle is in adobo sauce. Canned chipotles are his secret ingredient. Fucking doll, 99 cent canned chipotles. Okay, so I chopped up all the chipotle peppers and the adobo sauce, it's all mixed in here now. I just took a quick little taste to make sure it's perfect. It's a perfect balance of everything. Okay, so. So this is the this is the competition over here. They're, you know, all the teams are getting ready for seven on seven football. Okay. Station camps here and beach footballs here and Cane Ridge is here. So it's gonna be interesting. And the young adults from church are here who think they're gonna have a chance. All right, so let me show you what the table looks like, guys. All right, there's all your spoons and all your cups. And I'm not gonna tell you which one is mine. I won't tell you which one is mine. He's literally the first chili that everyone is gonna taste. Oh God, everyone's gonna go down the line and they're gonna taste his first. Oh Jesus, with the rotten fucking brisket, with the fucking disgusting overcooked burnt to shit and, and leftover brisket that has clearly begun to rot. Oh.
Not at all. Two hours is nothing? Yeah. He fucking boiled it in a slow cooker for two hours. That's it. That's the cooking that you got on his rotten ass meat. I can't tell you which one it is. And here's the other one. There's number two. Number three. Number seven. Hey, what happened to four and five and six? Oh, here's five. Okay, we're kind of out of order here. Well, it makes me nervous, don't you? 14. 10, 15, it goes all the way down. There you go. You got all these going. Now who's doing the who's doing the judging? Who do we know? Everybody. Everybody's judging? Yep. Oh, okay, cool. Every child, adult, teenager, they come through and they sample and then they write the number they want, they give it to Mr. Mark. Listen, y'all. And he calculates. And nobody's gonna try and rig this, huh? <laughs> Thoisome, thank you very, very much for the tier two sub. Incredibly generous of you. Thank you so much for supporting my show. Seriously. My watch. Okay, guys, so here's the deal. Um, I'm at the chili competition, and I can tell you right now I'm not going to win. Let me tell you why. Number one, I don't cheat. But number two, they're letting everybody here vote which one they think is the best, and I don't think that's good. I think you have neutral designated judges. So I'm going to go on record saying that I'm probably not going to win today because I'm not going to tell Jack and his friends to vote for me. I'm not going to do that. So everybody's hey. going to go over and vote How you doing? for the best Fire. chili possible. Fire. All right. But it's all in fun. There's no prize. There's no, no nothing. And it's the only time I'm doing this competition because I've already shown the recipe. So it's all okay. So here's Beach. They put them against, they literally put Beach players against, uh, Oh, Chaz almost caught that. It's all good. It's all good. So we'll see where it goes. Yeah, this is this is gonna be interesting. Uh, so basically, they're playing the field. People said, "I bet people at his church absolutely love interacting with him." Uh, wouldn't it be interesting if there is an entire treasure trove of Jack Scalfani uh, life blogs in which him and his family fucking feud on a podcast for internet content? Uh, the the unfortunate truth of reality is that Jack Scalfani makes his, his problems everybody else's problems and also records them on the internet for money. Uh, he also recorded himself having an argument about gay marriage with his cousin or with his brother, and he got absolutely clapped. It was literally just like, I'm gonna uh, argue with my brother about fucking uh, gay marriage and shit. This way, we have three fields. One, two, and three. We need so to review it. Actually, we did review it. It's on the channel somewhere. I don't remember which VOD it's in, though. Here. And here we go. And it was missed. Didn't get it. They literally put Jack's team against the hardest, the biggest kids, and the biggest adults, or whatever they are. So, okay, so there were some nice people, great chilies. I didn't win first, second, or third place, and I'm just a regular guy still. See, it's all good. Somebody else won. Congratulations to the winners of the uh, the chili bowl. Congratulations to Beach High School, my son's team. All the guys from Beach High School uh, won in the Chili Bowl. They won the football award and all that. And they were the best team. And I think that's it. All right, guys. I will talk to you later. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Definitely if you make it, let me bothered. know how it is. All right? Take care. Bye. Definitely not bothered. Definitely wasn't salty. Definitely didn't try to imply that the church Chili Bowl was fucking rigged when he served rotten garbage to his church. <laughs> I love this. Jack has such a fucking massive ego. He keeps boasting about his chili full of rotten meat and canned chipotle peppers will wipe the floor with everyone. Then when he finds out it's a fair voting system amongst everyone at the football game, he insinuates that he'll only lose because of some premeditated circumstances. I'm sorry, but a smart person knows when their creation is inferior. <laughs> oh my god. Let's forget about the old rotten meat. He put tomato paste, tomatoes, and salsa in this chili. It's way too much tomato. And then he jumped in it. He dumped an entire thing of chili peppers into the mix without even cutting them up. I'm sure people really enjoyed that. Oh my god, it's so fucking great. Oh my god, it's so fucking good. <laughs>
<laughs> Here's another great comment. Listen to this shit. Listen to this. My god, this man really has the nerve to serve rotten brisket to a church event and then complain that the voting system isn't fair because everybody was allowed to vote? Jack, how is that not fair? Holy hell, the ego on this guy. I'm sure you made that lady really uncomfortable when you were asking if the, comp if the competition was going to be rigged. <laughs> He got 17th place. There wasn't even 17, but giving him last place was an insult to the other chilies. Of course, I doubt you'd win with garlic from a jar. You bought fresh onion, buy fresh garlic. It's ironic that you're worried about cheating in a random church competition. It says a lot about you. Jack is such a good person, e e even his meat is going green. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking incredible. Oh my god. Absolutely amazing. Just amazing. The comments are so goddamn good. <laughs> I love how Jack just casually poisons an entire community of people. Bro, the brisket was spoiled. Ground beef, blah, and he wants to think it's collusion that they don't let him win. Canned ingredients in a year old freezer burned brisket and you didn't win? I'm shocked. He's getting just absolutely bodied. They're beating his ass in the fucking comments, everybody. Just absolutely beating his ass.